Hey, it's Back of the Bargainer, and I'm back with my top 10 teapots. I just thought it might be fun. If you don't like teapots, just click on out of this video. But I want to share my favorite teapots with you guys. Uh, I love teapots and teacups, and let me just tell you why. I in high school I worked at a tea room and um, I was 16 and so it was one of my first jobs that I had I helped in the kitchen helping to make um, you know to garnish dishes that were already done like put mint on them and put vegetables I learned how to make um, croissant sandwiches and um, learned how to make scones and different things like that so I worked in the kitchen but I also worked as a waitress and oh my goodness carrying a tea stand you know the, the two tier tea stands into from the kitchen to the um, dining room was the weirdest and most frightening thing ever because I always thought things were the food was gonna just fall and the tr and the plates were actually shaking on the tray <laughs> anyway so I love teapots and teacups I guess I just got kind of got stuck in that um, mindset and I would love to have my own tea room one day that would that would really be really awesome if I could open up a tea room We'll see. So um, I am going to share my teapots with you and um, just share kind of how much I think they're worth or where I got them or whatever. And I hope you guys enjoy. Now I have about 25 teapots or I've had about 25 teapots. I have kind of cleared out some of my, my teapots recently just because I have so many of them. I'm trying to stick to a certain theme. and um, But I have been gifted a lot of them and have bought some of them. So if you're interested, just keep watching. My favorite of all time teapot is this one, which I got a couple years ago from my husband. It's from Bombay. It's the Bombay brand, but this is my favorite one. He bought it for my birthday and it's very heavy, very extremely heavy, but I love blue and white. Our kitchen is blue and white and I have curtains that have teapots on them. And so this was just like perfect and, and he just knew exactly what I loved. And this is just a very elegant teapot. Um, just very, very deep and heavy. I only use it on special occasions. <laughs> um, well, really, just whenever, or for my own personal use, I'll use it. But, you know, if I have a tea or something like that, I'll, I'll take it out and use it. And so I really do love this one. It's my favorite. The second teapot is the teapot that was given to me by my boss when I worked at the tea room. And it's a really cute teapot. Uh, there is a strainer that goes in here that is in the kitchen. But I do have a chip on it, unfortunately. On some move that we that we made, I got a chip, but it's still very special to me, and I plan on keeping it. And it, this is from Japan, and it's just a really beautiful blue and white teapot that I love. This teapot is special. One of my grandmas from when I was younger, um, <laughs> from my church, she gave me this teapot. It is from England, and it is Arthur Wood. And of course, I don't know the value of all these teapots, but this one is um, one of my favorite ones. I love the traditional brown teapots. I just think they're really pretty. And um, this one is a traditional kind of English teapot, which is very, I feel like it's very rare to find this. Um, and so it was a special gift when I received it. I think I received this when I was the in next high two school. Teapots. I, re I got in Ireland when I went in 2005, I believe it was, and this is one, this, now this is more of a, you would use as a pitcher for like hot cocoa or um, coffee, you could put coffee in this as well because there's no straining involved, but it's a really large, deep um, teapot, and like I said, it's perfect for coffee to serve um guests and things like that. Now I don't use my teapots an awful lot, but I do like to use them every once in a while. Like if I have someone come over and they like tea, I'll get all my tea stuff out and I'll make it special for them. <laughs> the bottom of this teapot has what the teapot is from. This is fruits and flowers made by Royal Tudor Stoke and Trent, England. That tall teapot I just showed you, I got at a charity shop for one euro. <coughs> One or this two teapot I got in Ireland as well on my on my journey, and I actually had to take it back on the plane, which was kind of nerve-wracking. But this was also one or two euro. I can't remember exactly how much I spent. But it's a really beautiful teapot, and it's Arthur Wood made in England. And I do like just the traditional brown teapots. They're just really beautiful and mean a lot, um, especially it was a, it was a wonderful souvenir probably the cheapest souvenir I got in, in Ireland. So I really enjoyed it and um, 
yeah, those are some of my favorite ones. Okay, we've got a couple more that are hiding this behind me. I searched on replacement.com and I did find that it is, if you want to replace it, I'll put the price right here. But it is expensive, this teapot to buy. Like if you, if I, if it broke and I wanted to replace it. Um, I, and I cannot remember where I bought this from. I think it was a thrift store. I don't remember really. I was trying to ask my mom to see if she remembered where I found this, but I'm pretty sure it was a thrift store. But it's Vintage Garden, a Princess House exclusive. All right, now this one was one of the first teapots that I picked up at a thrift store, and you would not believe how gross this thing looked. It was really bad. It was completely covered in um, like a plastic tape, like, you know, like the Dollar Tree plastic clear tape. Um, someone had taped it all together, and it was like more like a creamy brown color. It was really bad. I took it home, soaked it, disinfected it, cleaned it, and it's just a beautiful white teapot. I just love this uh, look to it with the ribbed kind of look or whatever this is right here. I just really enjoy it. There's nothing on the bottom so I don't know where it came from. It's just a simple teapot but it's just really beautiful and goes with all of my different teacups and things that I have and yeah so this is one of my favorite ones. Of course most of these teapots that I got at a thrift store I paid under five dollars for. I don't usually pay more than that for a teapot. The next one that I got at a thrift store recently at probably last year it is adorable and it has this really unique box shape on the top and it has a little bow I just think that is so darling don't you guys and on the on this part there's a bunch of bows and just different ribbon look you know like effect to it um, and it is I Gottinger and company it was made in China. I don't really know much about this teapot, but it's just beautiful and I thought it was really pretty One to display. One of my finds at a thrift store, <laughs> I found a lot of my teapots at thrift stores to be honest. Especially the ones I'm not showing you today, which I can show you another day. But um, this one is one that I found a couple years ago at a thrift store and it is Easy Exotic. Um, it's upside down so I can't really read what it says. It says Easy Exotic by Padma Lakshmi. Anyway, I love these clear ones because you can put loose tea in them and you can see the tea as it's going around and around in the, in the teapot. It's just a beautiful teapot and very elegant and pretty. So this is just a beautiful thing to have. I, I love it. I have two clear teapots like this, but this one is my favorite just because of all the different uh, design elements of it. It's just really pretty. The last one I'm going to show you today, I did get this at the Christmas tree shop and um, I, I don't know if you've ever been to a Christmas tree shop. It's like a big, big store with decor and it's not like a Christmas store. Anyway, they're around the U.S. I love them. It's my favorite one. There's one in Richmond, Virginia, um, but it's like an hour away so I can't usually go to it too often. But Antique Reflections. So I just really love this one. Anything, it's more of like a cream color, but the blue is just so pretty and just so me. I love this teapot so much. So if you're interested in seeing more of my teapots, I can give you another 10 more maybe to show you. Um, I'd be happy to make that video for you if you're wanting more. Let me know in the comments which teapot you liked. And um, a lot of my other teapots are smaller teapots, like uh, ones with the cup underneath or just one cup teapots. And I do have more of the larger size, but these are the, my favorite ones that I showed you today. And I hope you enjoyed. And I, I will see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.